Welcome to Jake's Car Audio. In this video, I'll be showing you how to wire a power wire without actually using a hydraulic crimper. So, the tools you're going to need wire cutters or a pair of scissors, but I would definitely recommend some wire cutters, the right size Allen key, or you could use a multi piece screwdriver set which comes with different size Allen key heads. Really useful, and I bought this from Amazon. I'd recommend it. So here they are, they are called screw ring terminals or wire coupler terminals, depending on the size they are around £10 or $15. So for my power wire I'm going to be using some zero gauge blue wire, it's a lovely colour. Specifically, it is Stinger Select Zero Gauge CCA Power Wire. It's really flexible and easy to cut. I would definitely recommend this. Grab your right size Allen key, your wire, your terminals, and you're ready to go. First of all, you want to undo the grub screw on the ring terminal itself. I would recommend undoing this screw as much as possible without it falling out so you can get the wire in easier. Do that for both of them or depending on how many you're using. Out there looks good. Sweet. Now you're ready. First of all, just grab your power wire. need to know what length to cut so just put it next to the ring terminal and use your thumb as a guide about there looks good so grab your wire cutters or scissors if you're using wire cutters you can clamp down on it a little bit and rotate the wire it's a good little trick to get the insulation off once that's done just pull it off Pull out any frayed wires or loose bits, pinch and twist, and you are ready to install your ring terminals. Very, very easy to use, no hydraulic crimper needed. Great for beginners or if you don't have a crimper or you need to get the job done without one. So just go ahead and screw that down. Be sure to hold the power wire and push it towards the ring terminal for the best contact. And there we go, it's done. You are ready to connect your wire. I would definitely recommend a fuse though. If you're not sure how to wire one, check out the video on screen now. I'll show you how to use an ANL fuse holder. I also have a video suggesting what, what fuse rating you should use depending on your wire size. If you're not sure, just check them out. Some lovely crimp terminals there. Each rank too, looking good. Thanks for watching guys, if you have any questions just drop them in the comments. Any video ideas would be appreciated. Also let me know what project you're doing, what you're wiring up, your car audio system, or if you need any help just let me know. Depending on your wire size, will depend on the size of the ring terminal needed. So if you're using smaller wire I'd recommend a smaller ring terminal.